guys and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how I finish off the look after I have completely did my wash and go. I sit under the dryer for like an hour and then this is how I basically come out looking. It's very stiff. It like you can kind of tell it's stiff. Some of them are like together. So I'm going to be showing you guys how you go from this to this. <laughs> so um, it looks really good right? Yes, yes, yes. Everything is all separated. It bounces, guys. Like, it, it just feels so good. It feels so free. There isn't any pieces stuck together. And my hair is fluffier. It just looks so much better. And it just looks like it's completely done now. So, if you guys want to see how I got the look, not the makeup, but my hair, then just keep watching. All right. So, first you want to start off by putting your hair in a few different sections. I'm gonna do four sections and leave some out in the back to get started. I just used some scrunchies that I got from Amazon, but you can use whatever you like to section your hair off. Just get some of the hair out of your way. As you see, I have a lot of hair, so I'm just, you know, trying to get it out of my way as much as possible. And I'm using my dryer on low heat, but high speed. And I'm just gonna pull a little taut, but if it's still wet at the roots, do not pull your hair yet. If you can, just blow dry the roots until it's dry and then tug on them. If you tug a little too soon, it's gonna cause a lot of frizz. And you guys can see I am actually separating as I go. So I'm like drying my roots, separating, drying my roots, and all that good stuff. You can kind of see that they're still wet because you can see that there's some product in there, but um. Yeah, make sure you are drying the roots first and then tugging a little bit. You don't want to tug too prematurely, you know what I'm saying? And the biggest thing that I would have to say from my routine is the separating. Separating every single curl is what's going to give you that voluminous look on first day hair. And going to day two and day three, your hair is just going to get bigger and better. So I love this method and this gets rid of all of that crunch. It helps elongate and it gives you volume. So I think this is like a win, win, win type of um, shaping method. So I'm just going to show you guys me shaping my entire head because I want you to get a good feel of what I do for every single hair. Now, of course, you have to have a nice wash and go method down before you even try to do any of this. And I highly recommend any products that are going to clump your curls together because you can't separate them if they're all PC. So I just like to clump my curls together, as you guys can see. And then when I go into this routine, that's when I separate and get the best results. Now, I have plenty of routines on my channel where I'm doing a lot of different wash and goes that would actually work best for this but for this particular wash and go I switched it up on you guys but that video is coming I am working on my winter wash day routine and that video is coming guys but for the meantime just go and check a lot of other wash and go routines I have because I love to clump my curls together so any one of them would work but guys that's all that I do like it's just the smallest things but it, as you can see, it's going to take my wash and go from a zero to like 100 real quick. So I actually really like this method. It gives me volume and I love it. I honestly love it. And it shapes my face really, really nicely. So um, as you guys can see, I don't know if you guys really noticed, but I just switched up my parting. Normally my parting is on the other side, but today I change it to this side that is also important switch up your partings because your hair kind of gets tired of being manipulated right in that front area so switch it from one side to the other to the middle part if that's something that you like and prefer or do an off center part I just I like to do kind of like by my brow if you guys haven't noticed well that's what I like to do I like to part where my brow is I think it just flatters my face a little bit more I don't know Try it out, guys. Try a lot of different methods. Don't just stick with that one thing. Switch it up. A little parting, okay? So, yeah, that's what I do, guys. I just like to switch up my parting, and I like to separate my hair and just make it have body. I don't like for it to be stiff. I want it to be free. I want every curl to lavish in life. <laughs> So yeah, that's pretty much what I do guys. It's super simple, but I did want to go ahead and make this video um, Because I know I don't have a video out that shows me actually shaping my hair So I hope you guys really like this video if you did give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye I know.
Make a move on And if I don't 